Uh, a little bit about the history. It was founded by, uh, uh, in 2011 by uh, industry veterans. First GA product in Q3 2012, really quick uh, turnaround. And it was acquired uh, in June 2013 by uh, EMC. And ever since then, Scale.io is part of the high-end storage uh, portfolio of uh, EMC alongside with the StreamIO and the So we are seeing a, a tremendous acceleration and excitement in the storage defined storage, uh, software defined storage uh, market, um, and Scale.io is a leader uh, in this market. By now, we have uh, over 400 customers deployed on uh, Scale.io, over 450 petabytes are deployed. Our largest customer has deployed around dozens of petabytes. We have uh, actually many different companies. Those could be small enterprises, but also very big, uh, large enterprises. Um, again, we have uh, two of the top uh, five uh, web seal companies and two of the top five financial organizations. And this goes on, again, from different industries and different vectors. So why software-defined storage? I think I'll, I'll, explain the, 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 I'll explain it by going over the, uh, the life cycle of the traditional storage, and I think it would be very clear. And we all know that standard array has a lifespan of somewhere between three to five years. And when you're coming to buy a new storage array, typically what you would do is you will collect all of the workload requirements, all of the performance requirements uh, uh, and the capacities for the next three to five years, and you start the planning. And you'll go and make a decision on specific technology and specific array that has the potential to support the, the workload that you need for the next three to five years. Once you made the decision, this is the maximum or this is the limit. You're making a decision on specific potential, performance potential for this specific array. Obviously, this is a relatively long process. It takes months in different uh, organizations. And then you probably need to go over POCs. After you made your decision, you deploy. It takes weeks. Then you're out of capacity or maybe out of performance, uh, so you're expanding your storage array, you're adding a shelf or you're adding a controller. This takes, can take weeks as well. Once the array is mature, is, is mature you need to invest more in uh, optimizing the arrays. This takes days. Then you repeat the process again and again and again until you reach the end of life of the, uh, of the array where you need to start thinking about, okay, what am I doing next? What is my next array? So you need to make that decision again need to make a decision on which array and which technology you need uh, to buy. Um, and you need to rebuy it, meaning that you need to rebuy, repurchase both the hardware and the software. And once you have it on site, you need to start migrating your data from your old array to the other array. Obviously, data migrations are very disruptive to other organizations. It requires, uh, in many cases, it requires application downtime. <coughs> there is a potential data loss. Um, there's a lot of inefficiency in the process. And I think those are a familiar problem and are common for many storage uh, devices. So the challenge is that we have a limited life cycle for software and hardware. And again, this is for only one array. The problem in the typical organization is in order of magnitude because you have multiple, multiple uh, arrays. Again, you have fixed performance or capacity with limited scale. Expansions are fixed. I can buy only one array or one, uh, one shelf, and full shelf, or, um, or a controller. And obviously, data migration <coughs> are risky. I would like to avoid them. So let's talk about uh, Scale.io and what it is exactly. Scale.io takes the concept of uh, virtualization, the same concept of uh, VMware um, done in compute, basically virtualizing, abstracting, pooling, and automating compute resources, memory, and CPU, and portioning it back to uh, virtual machines. The same concept, we're doing it for storage. So in this example, I have 10 servers. Each one has 25, 250K IOPS and 10 terabytes. We will install Scale.io on them, and Scale.io will abstract those resources that are locked within those servers. Again, it could be any media, HDDs, SSDs, or NVMEs. We'll pull them together into a large pool, and then we'll automate the process of portioning back some of those resources into the applications based on their needs. And then Erz is going to give you all of the technical details about how exactly it is. Now, Scale.io changes the way that we build and manage the data center. We now move to use software defined. We're using software. We're using standard x86 uh, uh, servers. 
that anyone can buy anywhere, and standard Ethernet network, which, which means that we eliminate the need for SAN equipment and SAN expertise. Those are no longer needed with uh, Scalio, which translates to a lot of uh, uh, operational efficiencies that uh, enterprises and IT organization can get. And why? It's primarily because we are simplifying the data center, we are simplifying the infrastructure. We are minimizing the component variation in the, center, in the data center. I need to buy now deploy scale IO with servers. You know, anyone can get servers, anyone know how to manage servers. Because it's software, there is a lot of automation to deploy and operate and even refresh. Yes. In terms of uh, allocation resources, everything is uh, fully automated. So we can uh, balance all of the resources and making, making sure that you get the most optimized uh, performance at all time. And when I want to grow, uh, I can do it on demand and incrementally, one server at a time or set of servers uh, whenever I want. So remember this, this life cycle? So this is the traditional array life cycle. So scale and software-defined storage basically transform this life cycle into a much more simpler life cycle. It's way shorter. Planning uh, is, not, uh, is, not, uh, is, is much quicker because whatever decision that I make, because of the elasticity and flexibility of scale IO, is, a not, is not a long-term decision. It doesn't have a long-term impact. I can always change things. So planning is simple. I can go to a website and order my preferred uh, server or my preferred uh, uh, vendor and then deploy it in, uh, in days. We have one of the customers who basically, uh, now whenever they want to deploy a new scale IO pod, it takes them 15 days to deploy it from the, the moment that they decide to, to deploy the, the, that pod. Expansions are much more simple. Again, I'm taking and bringing a new server into the data center, installing uh, scale IO, and just adding this server to the cluster, and scale IO will automatically balance the resources. And upgrades can now be rolled. I, bring the new hardware in, Scale.io will move the data into the new server, and then I can decommission the, 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 that old, uh, that, uh, that old, uh, those old servers. Now I can repeat this process for how long? Forever. So the useful life of Scale.io is perpetual. You deploy it once, you grow it incrementally, one server at a time. There's no data migration at all. We eliminate the need for uh, data migration by rolling those upgrades. And in terms of software licenses, those are perpetual. You bought 100 terabyte, it's yours forever, as long as you're paying maintenance. And you could use whatever underlying server technology that you want in order to uh, uh, utilize that uh, software licenses. At the end, time is recovered, cost obviously is reduced, and weekends are great. So we support any application. There's no limit, uh, uh, limitation at all. It could be traditional or cloud, any scale. Scale IO can, uh, can be deployed up to 1,000 uh, uh, nodes. Any operating system, any hypervisor, VMware, Microsoft Hyper-V, KVM, and, and Zen, and any media that, uh, that you wish to deploy. There's absolutely no limitation there. Have you, have you guys tested up to 1,000 nodes? Yes. Wow, OK. Right. Three ways to consume Scale.io. Software only. You will bring whatever hardware that you want, really whatever vendor that you want. And we have customers that deployed many different vendors. And then you will deploy Scale.io. For those who preferred something uh, 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 from Dell EMC um, that is uh, completely tested and validated, um, ReadyNode is a good option. It's uh, optimized uh, Dell PowerEdge servers uh, bundled with uh, Scale.io software. And the last option is VxRec uh, System Flex. This is um, a, a rec scale system engineered uh, system, including compute, network, the hypervisor, and scale IO. These are the three options that we provide to our customers. And we have customers deployed across all of those uh, three options. 